and we are back back at the game. So I have a funny story about this <laughs> game, or funny. So I managed to destroy the save file from our previous game, and I was like, in, like, okay. Then I went and looked the internet, scoured the internet for uh, any save files for this game, and, and found one. Okay. Uh, it was from the from the sixth uh, chapter, but the, it had totally different skills and uh, equipment, of of course. So what I did is download the old uh, back uh, hack, eighty eighty two, which is a that's old Windows program, and I had to download a library for my Windows. 11 so I can play old Windows program so I use this editor to change the uh, items and uh, numbers to the values they were in, in our previous game so now we are kind of playing the same game but of course they haven't yeah different quests have been completed and and not any, all enemies have been slain and stuff like that, but it, it's still working. And last time we were left in this situation that we can't enter here. But the real thing is that there's hidden cave over, over here left. Come on. Come on. It's, it's over here. Enter. Like how you how are you supposed to know this told you I wasn't mad he muttered it looks like a cave out want to have a look inside yes so now we need to go go inside and as you can see enchantments are there stuff we have is here that was quite a lot of work actually to be truthful we are not seeing any objects. Wow. I'm not hearing any. S any sounds as well. I'm not hearing the sound, but you are. You are apparently. I'm not hearing the sound, but you are. You are apparently. Okay. F fine for me. There, there's not not much music and and effects in this game, so so that's that's it. We have a yes. We have a tunnel or this way, and this was sl sl slightly small <laughs> dancer. This leads off to the series of complicated mine tunnels, where maybe a passage to the library vaults through there. But without the map or some directions, we would never find a way through. Okay, so we don't have a map. Yes, we do. Oh, strawberry. So let's let's pretend that we found the clue. A bit sad, but nothing, nothing, nothing wrong to actually skip to the end. Okay, this is not what we want to go, uh, and it's not really a skipping because we have lots of ways to go. So. Did you think the chapter would end here? No, <laughs> it won't. We are actually going to go another way around. So, the um, situation is. We have been looking uh, 
the clues from Alex Cross and visited here and visited Sarth and they are actually telling that Elvandar, there's Thomas, guy, guy named Thomas from the books that actually actually knows stuff. So he knows what the book of macros is and by the way he's his friend of Bug so that kind of they grew up together so that kind of makes sense that we need to go to the almost to the Lamut and then cross these mountains underneath. I heard you coming down the passageway, and for a moment I thought you were be another of the beasties. Come and rattle me bones, I suppose we are a wee bit jumpy down here just as yet. Hope oh, we didn't start to too bad if we were just looking around for a big way to get to Elvandar. Now he's actually talking. I think I've heard once it was the other side of the Great Towers. You have found the way! These mines stretch all the way from the one side to the Great Towers to the other. We had a collapse here, but we broke through about an uh, half an hour, uh, hour ago. I saw me brother McKenna for the first time in months. Oh, but there's some tragic loss too. There was a falls in the caverns and the passages to uh, it were terrible damage. I don't know that we'll see it uh, again. Terrible, terrible mess those black Norway. But we can go through the to Elvandar. A, hey, but I was, I advise you to stick with the main passages as there's some windy bits of can cause some human distress. As a common, we wouldn't let you go alone as you get lost, but only the major passages have been cleared. You'll do safe. Yeah, well, before you go, could you could we ask you a, a few questions? I don't see why not. What do you want to know? No, laddie. Black or uh, we already killed in Black Black North. Temples. Uh, the way things have been going for us recently, perhaps we uh, would do well to seek a little help from at the temples as well. We're close up. We already Elvander. After we leave the Macmordan Cadal, which way we will take to Elvandar? I've never been there. Uh, you don't think for the moment it's going to be as easy as that now, would you lad? The elves don't exactly invite the rest of the world in for pleasant tea parties, and I think they'll make a particular exception for your mortal friend here. Oh, he's not for mortal, he's an elf that doesn't know the way Elvendar. I'm no fool, and you, you'll be an even sorrier whelp if you throw that one with of war leader Thomas Border Rangers. They have the boat of you hanging you by your ankles from the tree in a sparrow's fall. If uh, what I hear from the brother McKenna is true, they may even have a cause to shoot you or your friend on sight. Why would why would um, would they have against Godath? Not the person me again, the mortar. I'm sure out of the details, but I've heard the mortal are pressing the borders. They are more morally. I'm sure my brother McKenna can uh, tell you more about that than I. If he's not still in the cuddle, he might be on the road to Caldera. Okay, and apparently they didn't... Who made this save didn't explore this place, so... Uh, let's check this first. Okay, it's a Bragnor. Another... He probably doesn't have any anything um, iron with him, so let's try to freeze him. Oh, much easier. And he, he was <laughs> guarding the exit.
more about the canopy that's okay so we had, this is the elven the forest of elvander apparently those Turani fighters uh, for it was something like 10 years it was huge long very long war but the but the original uh, portal rift was opened in this forest Grat was quickened as he saw the lone figure approach when it became apparent level not being attacked. He relaxed, relaxed a bit, squinted slightly in an attempt to see who was about to join them. McKenner Bandock. It's an awful mess out here out. Wyvern has come from the over the mountains and has seen things up a bit. But if we hadn't been beating back fans this past few weeks, we have been through the month sooner. I don't know how many roads are passable at these, these days. What kind of of yarn that came and helped us clear the mess? In the mind left as soon as the word reached that fires were approaching Elvantar. Where did the Wyverns come from? What else, lad? In the Northlands, some new bastard mortal leader. I hear harassing your kinwalk. I hope you haven't uh, any kids in the arms way. No, but of the mortal. A few have as uh, what a nerve to cross over from the mortaling have already come to some skewer tour. I know that Prince Kaling has been uh, on the frontier looking for others. The biggest concern as uh, uh, yet is to put out the f uh, flames and get help those as got uh, trapped behind it all. Prince Kaling. Prince Kaling leads of war, what of war leader Thomas. Kaling was in a later books, Serpent Saga. War leader Thomas. Poor news indeed. Three days ago, Thomas led a band of elves to stem raiders that had come from over the river near Moraling. They beat the raiders back alright, but in the melee of the warlock took the trust, his side with a tainted blade. They had to carry him back to Elvandar, though I understand it wasn't without struggle. Thomas wanted to stay, but the word was carried back uh, to Alcrana of his condition. And that was the end of that <laughs> wife called. <laughs> uh, Prince Kalin assumed control of the patrols at that point, and Aiken is uh, still up in the northern eastern fring of the forest, carving up mortal. Does the war leader yet live? The lad is, as ever, been a fighter, as tenacious at that. Sooner he'll cut the leg of the skull succumb to his po this poison. Wouldn't worry. I think it took your kin for a turn, though, seeing the Thomas fall. I've never heard an appearing the 15 years as i been with your folk. Happening in the 15 years he's been with your folk. Okay, so this is pretty soon after the rift war we are required to in eleven dark weekly you mentors fires extinguishing extinguishing now though not without fire portion of the food stomping and bucket carrying i thought uh, for a while the whole forest might become all of the ferocious belayed but tathar and last of queen alcrana spell weavers managed to put uh, all that to that business then we should have no difficulty returning to Elvandar. I don't know why ex I, I would exactly say that there's still a far number of those weavers flapping about in the forest though that has been working night and day to bring the blighters down even though being scaling a little bit of spellcraft what can I bend the, the will of those cantacaros lizards but I understand it ha still hasn't put a altered the rage. What of the dwarves? Oh, I have volunteered few men, but as you elves don't much like outsiders in your realm, I've respected your borders. King Dolgan did send a few volunteers help out of Elfkeen, but uh, the lot of them took the triple awareness once they entered the forest and could not go, go no further. They mustn't fell a fall of one of your fabled sleeping glades. Sleeping glades. Calder. If in my face fevers it might be wise uh, if we had our armor repaired as there any armored crafters in Kaldara. They are, are there any el elves in Elvandar? You are going daft. 
a Costea armor crafter in Caldera. You don't have to call all the way to. I can repair it for you called. And if you are what watch uh, watch clues, you might even learn about the craft of repairing armor. Does a hundred souvenirs suit you? Yes. So it's me just fine. What do you need to do? I'll let I've been up much up up like if you are remove any armor you have had under that tunic of yours and your elf went we do the same. Now we will get to work. Now just what what I do. Someone told me once the few dents in the armor can actually be a fissel or something about catching blows that would tarnish scraped along the surface into the chunks. Makes some sort of sense when you think about it. I suppose maybe it would be a good idea to make armor so that it already has bumps, facets. If it already had them built in, then the armor. You're already finished. I finished. You'll find your armor as is good as condition uh, as it can be lad though I dare say you have learned a great deal more if you spend more time <laughs> listening and less than I'm talking twenty nine he has one hundred he's pretty badass so here's the Elvandar so there's a sleeping glades somewhere around here we need to get over here so either, either south south way or north way and we don't have that paper with us but there's like secret weapon that's hidden in the in a in a forest here i think it was in the part so But he men mentioned Prince Kaelin, so... Join the games. Playing card games with the uh, dwarves. They're not the door. Baby dragons have been attacking Elevator. Yeah. about as dense forest that, that that thing can actually do. This is uh, quite close to what what the uh, beta beta version of the well alpha version of the bet bet at Krondor was. Let's see where this goes. I mean it is it is a tra trail so Korath motioned, motioned for silence, though it had been years since he had let his kin through the skirts of the Helter forest on their escape from the green heart. The sights and smells were as familiar to him as the lines of the tips of his fingers. Yet there, there was a natural feeling about the area they stood in. Something moves nearby. But it is not on one of our blood or any forest animal of those movement zones I know. I thought I was hearing something, the high pitch sort of the wine, coming from the north. It's same sound. Uh, I'm, it might be our benefit if we were to see what its source is. 
but what if it's something that king uh, thinks we look like a dinner if it wish a charm better we know what uh, stalks us and have advances in attack that allow it to come and eat us when it chooses the moment what don't you think the choice is yours so north Do not be afraid of me. I can see your hearts are true and such as I will do no harm. How do you know such things about us? I don't know many things. You are a quest, are you not? Yes, we are. Can you help us? Not directly, no. Only if you be, would, be willing, would be willing to find the mortal spellcaster who has been perverting the will, wills of my kin with a strange device and retrieve it from his man. This man, uh, an item stolen from me. He holds an item named after my own person, Elam's heart. Return it with it, and I uh, will do what I may to assist you. Okay, interesting. So, we need to find the model spellcaster and do something something nasty, nasty for him. So we didn't find them. Um, we didn't find the um, elf leader yet. Oh, that's a tree house. <laughs> One was about to knock the door when he heard a lot of voices coming in front of the small house. He listened, but couldn't make out what was being said. He was about to knock again when the door swung open, and three very loud and seemingly very drunk dwarves came <laughs> charging out. All that sand in the banks of endless sea, damn that! That's what I left on me. Brack Norse I've killed. That's right, you don't. Brack, bracking stopped when he saw Ovin and Gorat, then he uh, turned to face his friends, looked a surprise and co concern clearly displayed on his bearded face. What are you doing here? He demanded, eyes shifting to something behind Gorat. We heard it to Elvan, Darwin said. Best you are going then. It quite a ways north and here. Not of here. He questioned to his friends, but rather than leaving, they went back inside the house. I wonder where they were going. And a random encounter. Oh, it's, it's, it's getting dark. Ah, uh, Gorath could got a splash. So here's the here's the bridge. But I suppose we should be going back. And check the other branch for the elf leader.
Ah, that looks like a murder spellcaster. I wonder if, if he's the right one. Okay, he's poisoned. They were not allowed. Kaelin. If you had not slain that wyvern, I'm grateful, but I beg you to go from this place, cousin, and take the, with you the evil you have brought. You may not take what will uh, not have you. You cannot harm what will not be harmed. You and your people belong among your own. I do not raid with my kin. Grant me passage, Eld Hell. I have come to look upon the face of the shining moon. The old tongue, I think your coming will be well received in Elvendar. Tell my mother and the war leader Thomas I'm well and I will continue to toward Mor Morlin to meet the mortal there. Perhaps we can yet put ha halt off to their raids. What's a shiny moon? Is it in Elvendar? She, not it, young human friend. Your companion refers to our queen Alagrana. Uh, in your tongue, it means something like shining moon. Is the way to Elvendar passable? The attacks directed by the mortal have made travel a difficulty. Fires are burning all across Elvendar, and the spell weavers are hard pressed to attend them all. Most of the roads are passable, but the western path was clear. Last I heard of it. I'm surprised you have been able to survive alone with the mortal raiding over your borders. How have you escaped? The mortal can do little harm the, with the elder within Elvandor, and they would be fools to try. It would take remarkable strength of will and mortal to enter the forest with any evil intent, and even more re remarkable will for him to survive such an attempt. It is a part of the magic that protects my, our home. What about Korat? He hasn't had any problems entering the forest. You have not told the boy? My returning is no consequence to him. He has his own quest to fulfill. Returning? You mean you have been here before? You will understand certain things later, should events unfold as I imagine. There's still a matter of your survival to deal with, however. Though our cousin Gorath moves with a great grace, you are not uh, so sure-footed. For your parts in my rescue, I should like to teach you how to move the Elven way. How, how about Gorath? It is not custom between our kind, but if you wish, I will teach him that what I know of using crossbow. Come, we cannot uh, be long at this. Killing waited. Seated cross-legged uh, on the ground, he watched it uh, through the half-lidded eyes as Owen approached from the thick corpse of trees. Although he still moved with little grace, he made a remarkable improvement in a short time. Do I move like an elf now? Owen asked, a look of eager anticipation written in, on his face. I will not try to sneak up the war leader as yet, but yes, you have learned a bit, the elf replied. Why don't you go around and try it again? You were still rustling the leaves as you approach. Once the boy was gone, Kalin shifted uh, his gaze to a study of Korath's progress with the crossbow. Though it was early apparent, Mordor was capable of doing great damage with the weapon. His concentration was elsewhere. I'm told that call can be painful one uh, is uncertain of their feelings, Colin said. I'm told the call can be painful if one is uncertain of their feelings. Kellen said, you need to not endure the pain. We will welcome you no matter who or what you might have been to us in the past. 
Korat nodded without looking Delph his gaze fixed straight ahead as he reached his crossbow with the trembling hands and fired into Undercroft. Hey, Owen shot it in the distance, crashing back to the bush re entered clearing. Could you be a little more careful where you are firing that thing? That last shot can came far, far too close to me. Rising to his feet, Kaling shot his head. Then it's time the lessons came to an end. How have you been holding off the Wyverns? I would have thought this many of them would have burned Elvandara to the ground. Fortunately, the spells the model have been using to control them aren't too strong or too complicated. Even with that little knowledge I have about magic, that her managed to teach me a cantrip that will turn them away. Sounds like it might come useful. If you have time, do you think you can teach it for, uh, to me? Uh, you can have the scroll I studied. I don't think it. I will need it any longer. Though I warn you, you'll need to find one of these beast eggs each time you cast a spell. That I tried to explain the principle to me, but I had trouble following the complexities of it. Elvandar. In what way will take us the most quickly to Elvandar? If it were merely a matter of which way to take the, this distance, I would suggest you take the northern bridge. But I understand my Scots that Wyvern has been alighting the heavy numbers near there. It would have been far less dangerous to travel with far western bridge and there cross through the sleeping glades, though you have made some difficulties dealing with them. From there, bear directly north until you reach the Greyhorn. You will find an entrance to the subterranean ancient ruin there. Once you emerge from it, you will be very near the heart of Elvandar itself. Ancient ruin. One nice thing about traveling underground, at least there is less chance of something dropping down from us, on us from above. With these vivens flying about, I half expect one to come flapping out of the nowhere. Anytime I turn my head. You may not find uh, you are quite so enthusiastic about the ancient ruin. Once you pass through it, we do not use it much. Please tell me it, it isn't infested with the Bragnur, or something equally repulsive. Infested, an interesting description, but not in the way you may think. None of elven blood might easily walk its corridors without some measure of dread. It is of the Valhero then. The war leader assures no, us none of the ancient essence may touch us here, but the malevolence that permeates that place cannot be easily dismissed. We have not been so foolish, however, to leave it open to any, any of that wish simply to enter it. There's too great danger or something there has been unfound. That's beyond our control. Only a few of the elves have a key that will unlock its doors. How we, are we going to get in then? I will give Korat, give Korat the key I carry. It, that is all that is required. As simple as that. There's nothing simple about it. The force of will it has taken for Korat to have come even this close to Erwanda is monumental. Unless his reason of being here here was was most and most important, he would have fled this world long ago. I trust him. Sleeping glades. You said we might encounter some difficulty with the sleeping glades. It's one of the Elvandar's natural defenses. Those who enter them suddenly find themselves quite drowsy and will sleep for the days on end. Many may many die on their sleep from lack of nourishment. Effective if non selective, I assume there's a way they might be crossed. It wouldn't be practical to live in a house which there is no door, though the sizes of the glades are variable. When you approach them, you'll experience the light feeling and disorientation. There is, however, little known path that can bring you safely through them. The glades run parallel to a mountain range southwest of here, not a reverse fork. They, uh, they are difficult to cross, but you may uh, circumnavigate them if you are head to the fork of the river, then stay close to the mountains or to the north. You should be untroubled by the glades. Okay. I suppose we are taking the south road then. Okay, and there's a bit more reverence. Okay. 
it, that's not probably going to work. Hope, hope he doesn't miss. Small boss fight. And now we get to the Valhe ruins. The door was open. They entered the cavern and Owen noticed the cool cool how cool the air felt upon his face. Fishing his clothes were heavier or see his skin thicker he rubbed his elbows as he they descended into the ruin. So Valhair were, were elves that uh, in their prime time actually decided to kill guards. So they they were that OP and they are the big big body of the this this world. And I think in the other words as well. Uh, so that's a Tsurani fighter. Ghosts. Where's the Ghostbusters when you need them? All oh, right, it's it's us. I think this is the place where Thomas found his armor. He had like cursed armor during the Rift War, which caused some problems. Okay, that's 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 good. Let's see if there's Where once there were three now there's two Aizen kin of ours who we've sent to their doom Glamdra Glamred Hill. That's uh, from Lore. That's from straight from the lore. Uh, it was mentioned in this uh, that one text we uh, read. Exotic sword. Somewhere around here, I think. Are we missing? Yes, we are missing. Okay, here's his damage. So I think Korat could kill the mage. Tactically, would would have been better that I have, I would have uh, 
move to the that that square here but then again now I can actually use the spells without hitting Korath so okay that was blocked okay it's escaping no escape That was pretty painful, but we won. Elime's heart. Have you returned with the Elime's heart? Asked the creature. Yes. Owen nodded his head. He re retrieved the heart and made his way approximately to Tarusalki. Hands trembling slightly, he placed the object on in front of the creature, then quickly stepped away. You have done what what was asked, and now uh, uh, shall you be rewarded. Uh, it said, producing dozen passages of rations. Also, there's something which has l left on the shores of this river ages ago, which will be assistance to you on your road ahead. Please take it uh, in thanks from uh, all, my, all of my kind. Is the shell valuable? In a way, you may never fully imagine. But these uses are many. While it bears little on what which you seek, you may yet find another thing you desire. But of Elvandar, what is the be best route there? By two roads may you reach uh, Queen's Queen of the Eldhel. If you wander the main roads, there are many hazards, but you enemies shall face you. Wander the path less traveled, and you may find a face less substantial opponent. In this, Prince Colin may be a soft instance. Farewell. So we have lots of stuff. And now we are actually going to. Yeah, we have we have lots of uh, stuff, lots of and lots of. And I think this was bugged in the uh, original game, but now it works well. So we are giving giving a dubious amount of foods here. Interesting. I'm, I'm leaving the cursed item just to lay, lay around here. Now we'll return to the... Let's return to the right place. I think this not only the time you can actually combine two items in this game. A she searing flash of heat vaporized the shell as the Korath tossed it in the hilt of Glambert Herald's sword, elongating himself in a swirling length of blue flame. Around it, the shell of silver and steel congregated, forming a fir first a blade and then a scabbard on of unparalleled workmanship. Cardio Revenge. This is, let's say crazy, this is crazy weapon. Better than Sword of Limbs Kragma. I'm probably giving it this to Lock Lair or something. Loki can have it. You could get basically try to do a funny funny thing with this in a end end fight, but 
jätti sitten basic, basically the only, only well, sort of limbs kragma basically, but this is only ma magical weapon in this game. Rasiel mod elf, so he gets bonuses. Uh, it doesn't have a blessing like this one, but hey, it's still, still pretty, pretty good. And this was pretty sta straightforward quest, but you need to need to know know the how it's done. Let's test this weapon. Okay, it didn't get it's still still a more normal blade basically. One hundred and eleven crazy bonuses. So I, I can actually use the uh, swing option here, which is over one hundred percent still magic, magical weapon. Oven gaped. Ever seen the light of Elvendar glistened, its a circuitous fairy walkways checked in a glowing lanterns of brushed gold and crystal. Above a canopy of silver white leaves arch over the wall of the three top city masking from the view whatever sun or moon rained in the skies beyond. Gorat, this is, is isn't this the most perfect place you you have ever seen? Owen exclaimed. I've never dreamt anything like this. Square, if you can hold your tongue for a moment, Gorat said, it might be a behoove you to bow to their key queen. Flushed with the embarrassment, Owen turned heel, swirling as he noticed the cloaked figures who waited apo patiently upon their thrones. Quickly he folded in the op obeisance, uh, hoping sincerely, sincerely that human manners would be appropriate in the elven court. We have come from the crown door with the news about Buck of the Stardog, Owen said. Uh, we are in the hopes. Silence, silence. Child. Queen Alcrana spoke gently, her pale blue eyes glowing in the shadows. Though we would hear of our f dear friend Buck, we first must attend to the unraveling of eons. Inclining her head towards Gorath, her first uh, voice and composer took on a grave edge. You have come before us as a mortal, but never may you leave Elvandar as such. Are you willing to return to us, your ancient kind cousin? Rage flashed in his eyes. Trembling with the emotion, Gorath advanced on the queen, his hand darting to the hilt of his sword. No, Gorath. Common gasped, knowing his voice was too small to stay his friend's wrath. No, you can't. I was Gorath of the clan Ardanian. He spat, his voice thick with the ageless contempt. Cold drained from his face as uh, he gripped ever more tightly the sword at his side. I am Gorath and I have formerly returned to the Elthel and served fealty to Alcrana, Queen of the Elves, and the Thomas Prince Consort and War Leader. Falling to one key, he knelt low before the Alcrana's feet. I am yours to command, lady. His heart hammered an unsteady tattoo in in his chest. Owen stared in frank appraisal of the elves before him, except for the gazed expression lingering on Prince Consort Thomas' face. He saw no evidence that any of them had witnessed anything unusual. <laughs> Rise. From this day forward, you are no longer mortal. Korath, Alcrana said, you are a member of the family of the Elvendar and the Held Hell. When your quest is done, you will return here to be one of, with us. That is our desire. But uh, is this news of Buck as if wakening from the dream the Elven Valdrida spoke? 
the Mexican's name with a great concern. His dark eyebrows rising in interest as Owen began to elaborate the details. At times he would request that certain details be repeated, but always his glassy eyes became sharply focused when Owen spoke the names of Bug and members of the Arthas court. By the moons that means trouble, Thomas coughed as if the boy finished his tale. The book of macros is not a book, but instead a gift that book gave me a long ago. I was to use it to come to him. If ever he left that message for me, I must go. You cannot love. Even now I can sense the effects of the painkillering helps beginning to wear off, Agrana said, laying the pale hand on Thomas' shoulder, as if uh, approaching the delicate subject. She continued quietly. Three days ago, the war leader was struck with a poisoned blade. Only last evening did his fever abate, but he demanded to be brought here when he heard that mortal was returning. He hasn't the strength to, for the trip. You must go in his stead. Don't try my presence, Alakrana. Buck needs my help and I shall go. Struggling to gain his feet, he plans uh, it with the uh, effort strangling his straight, only to be uh, groping the back of his throne. How may of our kin carry you here, my warlord? The queen asked, her voice laced with concern. Was it five or six? You are no longer possessed by the soul of Asen Sugar, that was the Valhero, and you are not uh, gifted with the immortality. None doubt you strength of loyalty, Thomas, but you are all with the bug and sent up able help. As always, my love, you are wise, Thomas whispered, his strength beginning to fail him, reaching beneath his seat after his throne he bought forth the leather tomb coveted with dust. We may not be the strongest of the, or the fastest Thomas, but we are able to uh, he, uh, able, and we are here. Sent us to him. Uh, Alcrana is actually a ginger in, in books. I have a little choice. We shall. The long ride, chapter seven. Bells toiled in the towers of Northwarden. Jubilant cards shouted from the walls, uh, slapbacks exchanged for stories. Only days old, already a part of us, kneel, milling through the crowd, gathering names and places, scribbled them down as fast as is good. Tonight they would gather and they would drink and they would pay old Tamni the minstrel each time he sang their names. Listening to the general, general hop up drifting through the open and shutter, Signor James allowed himself a grim smile as he dropped down to where Arft and Locklear conferred over the battle map. By the day's end, I warrant that Delecan will have died on the sword point every man here. James, James said, it's a shame he wasn't really leading that raid. Indeed, Arft agreed, his eyes rolled as he brooded about something. I would like to ask him a few questions. I leave for the high castle at noon. Even through the mortal have turned from here, I'm certain that the first of them will be upon our troops there by the sun up tomorrow. Unfortunately, my army will be there to greet them. Fortunately, uh, still I wish I knew what they were up to. I just glance up, started uh, by the, as the page boys get in the chamber. Pardon, my lord. The boys said that they have captured the mortal raiding leader. Without the pause, Arutas ice hardened. Prepare him for questioning. Arutas is this kind of guy. Cooperate now, mortal, and I promise you live to see your children become adults. Doubt me, and I'll have your eyes for necklace beads and your manhood for an inkwell. But this is important. If you think. If you think we shall dot you into that, I would advise you that ponder my mood. Anxious to I'm um, to have answer. I will keep you screaming this side of the death for a month or a year, and until you all feel well satisfied that we have heard all the have you have to say. A diamond we are already roast. Nail my entrails onto your doorpost, feed my brain to your dogs. It will not matter. Even if you act now, you will be too late. You will 
win only pain to your trouble. Instructing torture. You do not listen. We know the secret of Shetanon. We shall free him. What secret? What a Shetanon? Ten years ago we attacked with the Murmandamus you captured, imprisoned him. Deluded fool, we killed Murmandamus at Shetanon and burned his bones to the potash. There's nothing there for Delectan to find. Actually, there is. <laughs> A lie we have spied. What else could you guard so closely? How does he think he will win past our garrison at High Castle? He hasn't enough men. Answer me. Rift machine. The six have a machine. It can tempt them place to place like a door between crest distances. Even while your troops die at Setanon, we will walk to the machine. We shall be through the dim wood and inside Setanon a week before you can reach us. Your troops will be exhausted. They will be ours. A rift machine inside the dim wood that Pastor Zurani Magican has been consorting with Delacan. Torture a terror singer James and Locklear to ride to the dim wood. They must find and destroy the drift machine while I hide to High Castle and divert our forces once more. Time says the essence. 